These kids of mine don't grow up fine. It's my job to see they do. Now, what I want you to do is take him for a walk. I want you to get some energy behind it so that you're setting the pace, not him. So basically hustle. <laughs> okay? Now walk towards me. When you get even with the trailer, you're going to cut that way. And, and without even thinking, you're just going to walk right into the trailer. Don't think about it. You're already thinking about it. <laughs> Keep walking. Now if he stops, give him a second to think. Stop. Release that pressure. Look at him. Sorry. Smile. It's all right. What you're saying to him, it's okay. I mean, it's not like a... He's just not quite there yet, right? So now, step forward. Just ask a little bit more. I'll try and pull him in. Just let him... There you go. Okay. <laughs> Make sense? <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Now, the thing is, okay, we have one thing going on here. Okay? Is that he's now walking in behind us. But we want better than that. Okay? I don't want hesitation. I don't want this. You know, you, you have to, you can't. The instant you stop making progress, you start going backwards, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be huge progress. It only has to be progress, okay? So, what's going to make it better? He's got to go in smoother without stopping, okay? So, when we do this, I want you to take that nice positive attitude, and I'm going to say, okay, come on, get up here, and bump up, ah, in, okay? But you have to have a momentum to you, and your body has to, has to reiterate that energy, okay? Right now, you're monotoning on me a little here, okay? You're just, you're going, he's going to come, he's going to come, <laughs> okay? So, we don't, we, we want to, oh, come on, let's do this, we're having fun. <laughs> Get your dishy up here, let's go, okay? So, that's what, we, what we're looking for, and that way, he's just in, okay? If our boy is doing that, if you can, you get your elbow up underneath his chin and just drive him for all you're worth. And then smile at him like it never happened. <laughs> okay, and he goes, that was really rude. I says, I know, don't put your face in mine. Because what he's saying is, you're not letting me eat, so let me bump you here. Okay? He's already starting to work you. Okay? That is just little stuff of him. And this is how horses work. They don't go for the big battle. Stallions do that. But in the herd, it's all about these little manipulations and, and little things that they start to take away and get power. Okay? And that's what he's doing to you. So they're good. Less arm, more elbow, and set it up. So he's doing it, and you just kind of look around and go, bang! And then you smile, and you go, what? <laughs> and he goes, oh. Well, it's no different than he walked into the, into the side of the trailer. Did the trailer hit him? No. You walked into it. You can get mad at the trailer? No. Okay? He's just not going to walk into the trailer again. Exact same thing with your elbow. He walked into your elbow. So boy, don't do that again. Okay? So that's that positive. There. Smile. Do it again. Whack. What? There you go. Smile. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at me. I'm just going to stand here and stare over here for a little bit. <laughs> it's like, there you go. Right? And now he's, he's thinking. He's thinking. And no. <laughs> okay? It's just this nice, positive. It's not about going on going to hit, beat, or do something. But it's just like, he's 1,200 pounds. It's, you can't have him being rude. Okay? You're 100 pounds, you're going to lose. I'm 200 pounds, I will lose, okay? So it's not. I need respect, I need to respect him, he needs to respect me. And there's certain things that he can do and get away with it, and there's certain things that he can't, okay? But watch the little stuff, okay? All right, so take him for a walk, get him on, get a nice little hustle going. If he has to jog a little bit to keep up, all the better. When you get to the horse trailer, don't even think about it. Just motor up to the front. If he's not coming, you can turn around, give him a little bit with the stick right here on the withers, okay? And just say, come on, get your tushy up here and let's move. But be positive. Be upbeat about it. Hesitation, right? Okay, let him stand there for a minute. Okay, make sure you do a quick release as soon as you get him to come forward, right? No, you're not releasing. Let go of that rope. 
He has to hold himself here. You cannot hold him. The more you hold him, the worse it's going to be. Okay? Okay, so that's all right. Let him go off, and now bring him right back forward again. Okay, so what he's doing is he's saying, okay, that was too much, so I've got to get off. And it's like, okay, that's fine. You got off. Now come back on. Okay, but it's, do that nice positive. So when you do this, what I want you to do is we're going to stand here. Here, you go over on this side of me. Okay, so when we do this, why don't you stand on that side of the partition? Okay, so when we do this, when I don't want him to come forward, it's like, here's my little tap, get your butt up here, and let's do this. Okay, because what I'm saying to him is, it's okay, you panic. I'm not mad at you for panicking, okay, but I need you to relax. But, okay, if you're going to go off, which he's about to go off here, so now I'm going to say, get this up. <gasps> and he goes, holy cow! Out there, that's not so much fun, but in here, wow! You get left alone, so where we could do it? This becomes the comfort zone. Okay? So now, no hands. I'm standing here, he's standing here. Everybody's good. It's that, whoa, out there's not so hot. I'm not going to hold them. He wants to get off. There he goes, he's getting off. Now, you're going to come back on because I asked. Right? Here's that conversation. Thank you. There's our hoop. Okay. This is comfort. Good boy. You're doing awesome. I like you. You know, it's like, you're all right. Okay. And can I just start now? And he says, okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. No, don't turn around. Whoops, you're all right. I started to move to the back part. And he says, well, where are you going? You can't leave without me. It's like standing. You're fine. All right. He says, you're okay. You don't need to do that. Get your head over here. Get your head over here. Now turn around. Get your head over. There you go. Come back up here. Okay? So, now we've got that. We're going to ask him to get off. And then we're going to stand here at the corner. And we're going to say, come on up over here, buddy, and get back on the trail. Come on. Come on. He's, he says, I can't do it unless you go in first. And it's like, no, actually you can. You can do this. You can get this over there. And in you go. That a boy. Oh, we stepped on the lead. That's okay. You're doing fine. <laughs> right? <gasps> you see that? <sighs> it's like, dude, you're fine. Relax. Okay? But it doesn't matter. So we had a... It's all right. So let's go back to it. Get this here. Lock the head. Get this over. There you go. Come on. Up you go. Now, put the head up. Get this going. Come on. There you go. All right. So we're halfway. So one of those things right now is he's good if we're up there, but we, he needs to learn that we don't have to be up there. Right? It is much safer for us, for him to go on, and then we can do our thing. Right? So... There you go, bud. No, this. There you go. Get this over. Don't go on top of me. There you go. The biggest thing is that you, if you have a little bit of didn't work out that good, don't panic over it. That he he's gonna go he's gonna go good, he's gonna go bad, but that's okay. Right? It just means that you gotta work and you're gonna figure out where it needs work. And this is that confidence thing with him, this insecurity. Don't come on top of me. Thank you. There you go. Okay? So come on back off of here. There you go, bud. Okay, your turn. <laughs> I already know how to do it. <laughs> Just watch the lead. Now, when he's doing this, because he gets nervous, okay, so don't have all the lead up here. Get the lead out of your way. Watch the nose, okay? Get the nose out of the way. 
tank. Put the nose that way, in you go. Okay? If you have to tap, try and tap on the rib cage. If you can't, then you can tap the butt, especially as it goes by. Okay? But watch the head because you don't want this coming in on top of you. All right? And as he does it more, he'll get better and better about it. So tap that shoulder and say, get the shoulder off. And think what you're doing. Like, if that's the shoulder, then get the shoulder off. And that's what you're thinking. Push, push hard. There you go. And stop. There you go. Stop and release. Now, one of the things is when you're doing this, see how you got the stick up right now? You're still yelling at him. Stick down, no yelling. <laughs> Okay. Now, one of the things, you got this, this rope, so let's take, take this, this way, sir, that's number one. That's asking as nice as we can. Okay, I'm not actually pulling, I'm just holding the rope up in that direction. So that's number one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my hand down here just a little bit. Try not to make the contact, but I'm just saying I don't want that nose coming my way. Okay, so it's more about finesse. Get your tushy over there. There you go. And he says, I got, no, you're not. Get this over there. Thank you. No, get it over. There you go. So what he's doing here is he's trying to bulldoze over to make you go away. And I'm saying, no, you're not. Move this over. Okay? Now, you have to. You can move out of the way. Get that. Don't do that. Okay? But you notice I'm not moving. I'm not getting excited. It's like, get that shoulder over. <laughs> All right? And he said, like, no, you're not. He said, I'm going to get, no, you're not. <laughs> exactly, because I'm calm. I'm not sure exactly why you're getting yourself all worked up. So, and he shakes his head going, well, this isn't working out, people. <laughs> okay, so when you get here, it's just a nice, bring it up a little bit. He's going to do the little pull thing. Get this over. And there we go. Okay. Now, we're going to fix this here. So, give us a couple minutes. I'm going to do some, some sending with them. Okay. So, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to send the horse onto the horse trail. And one of the things is, we spend our whole lives, a lot of people spend their whole lives, walking their horse out here like this. Well, it's kind of like when you're in the military. The first guy into the minefield. Okay. If he steps on a mine, the rest of us aren't going to go there. Okay. That's what the horse is saying. The horse is saying, I'll follow you onto the trailer. If it kills you when you get on, I'm going to get off. So now what we're trying to say is, no, no, no. I'm going to send you onto the horse trailer. I don't need to be out in front of you. And this is really important because if I can't send my horse, how can I ride my horse? Because guess what? When I'm back here, what am I doing? I'm sending my horse out in front of me because I'm sitting on his back. So one of the things that we want to do is I want to be able to send my horse off in a direction, which takes us to lunging, to, takes us to riding. Now, the first thing's first. He has four legs, I have two. He does all the movement. It's not my job to run around like an idiot, it's his job to be told to run around like an idiot. So, first thing I want to do is I need him to get him off of my space. I create that little bit of energy, doesn't want to move, up the energy. Keep it going, keep it going. There's my step. Stop, smile, relax. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay? Now, when we lunge a horse, lots of people out there want to do it at 14, 15 feet. I want to do it at 4 feet. Because at 4 feet, at 4 feet, there. So we're going to run around. It's like, no, we're not. Get this back. There you go. Get this over. There you go. Park it over there. There. <gasps> All that just so you can stand there. Cool, eh? <laughs> okay. This, I gotta tear off. I'm gonna do it. No, you're not. Here's the spot. Here's my plan. Here's what you're doing. Four feet. That's roughly about the side, the length of your stick. This I didn't think actually is about three feet. We want four feet. Don't want to move. I haven't asked anything. He shouldn't be moving. So I'm going to put him back where he came from. Put this over. Get this over. If I can't move my horse's shoulders, how am I going to ride? There you go. <sighs> Having fun yet? 